Hi everyone. So before you begin dive deep into the course, I want to take your two minutes and talk about how you can get the maximum out of this course. Okay. So this course is not just about video lectures. As I said, this course is a complete learning experience in itself. Okay. So it is important you use all the tools, all the things that are available to you in the Udemy platform. So I will give you a quick overview of what are the things that you should keep in mind. Okay. So first and the most important thing is you have to watch lectures that you already know, but you also have to do coding exercises. Those are really very important. Okay. So I have opened one coding exercise. This is like, let's say lower bound question. And in each section, you will find these coding exercises. For example, you can see these are the coding exercises for arrays. So you have to try and solve each and every problem that is there in the course because I have not, uh, I have covered a lot of variety you can say. Okay. And I've covered the common problem solving patterns as well. Okay. So common patterns you will find in many problems, for example, uh, 2d prefix sum or a 1d prefix sum. Okay. So these are important and you can't learn coding just by watching videos. Okay. You have to do practice. So for this course, you have to do practice on the Udemy platform. And this is the code editor area here. You have to submit your code. Okay. And you can check your solution. And if you're finished, you can uh, use the continue button. And also you will see a QA section. So in this section, you can go and see what are the doubts that uh, people have asked. Okay. And you can select the current lecture and you can see, are there any questions that are asked for this particular uh, problem? So maybe th there must be some questions. There might not be questions. So you can ask your doubts to teaching assistants who will respond on the same thread and you will also get an email notification. Okay. And apart from it, there is an announcement section where I would be posting some announcements. If I keep some live class on some weekend, so you will uh, get notified on your mail. And if you miss the live class, then you can watch the recording. Uh, the link would be in the announcement section. Okay. So that is something that you can do. So do interact with the TAs and the community, learn, ask doubts and also share your knowledge. Okay. Help other people to get their doubts resolved as well. So this is one thing that uh, you should keep in mind. Another thing is about uh, last time people are, people were saying me that their local ID is not working for C++ 11. So there are ways to fix it. Okay. But if you are short of time and you just want to run your code uh, very quickly, so you can also use the coding minutes ID. So this is on the URL ID dot coding minutes dot com. And it has a very simple and a nice UI. So if I just hide my photo, you, you will find a play button here in the um, bottom. Okay. And what do you need to do? You just uh, maybe um, write your code and maybe you can say see out n into n and maybe followed by some hello. So you given the input, you run the code and you will get a corresponding output in the console. So you can see we are getting this output 25 and hello. So this is something that you can use regularly because the Udemy editor is actually a bit small. You can definitely make it uh, full size as well. And one thing people were saying that uh, they want to see the hidden test cases. Okay. So I will just tell you one hack to see the hidden test cases. So maybe I am not writing the code for this method, but let's say I'm simply returning something. Let's say return five. I know this is going to give a wrong answer. But I want to see what what is the array A. So I can simply say uh, maybe for int x in array A, I can say C out x. Let's print the value of x. And if I click this button, check solution. So I know I'm going to get a wrong answer. But when this code is going to get executed, I think it will also show what is the array. Okay. So you can see. Uh, yeah, so these are the values. These are the values uh, that were given as input inside array. A. Suppose you also want to see the value, then you will also do see out value here. Okay. So this is how you can actually see 
on what test case your code is giving a wrong answer okay and here you also get an expected output for example uh, the lower bound of 3 okay the lower bound of 3 is uh, yeah so not not lower bound of 3 but uh, yes, lower bound of 5 yeah yeah so it is 0 1 2 3 4 So let's not dive into that. Uh, that is something related to the problem itself. Uh, so you will come to know when you will solve this problem. And yeah, so that is one thing I wanted to tell you. Okay. So these are the few things that if you keep in mind, you can really do well in this course. And yeah, so that's all for this lecture. And I hope you would like this course and you would do a lot of practice as well. And after doing this course, you can also do practice on other platforms like LeetCode or any other platform as well. So that's all for this lecture. Thank you.